I remember just the the excitement of the crowd. You just you could feel the excitement within everyone. I think uh, most of us who were old enough, at least, to be around in those days, pretty well remember where we were. They quieted down because they realized what was going on. Everybody listened in absolute uh, surprise because they couldn't believe such a thing was happening in Dallas. When that door opened up, it was like the sun came out and it shone on President Kennedy as he stood out. And it was just uh, unbelievable to, to a little girl of 12, you know, that here was my president, you know, in all his glory. And it was just, it was magical. One of the things, that, at the personal level, that the Kennedy assassination did, it was one of the most incredible experiences to be sort of horrible and at the same time sort of exhilarating to be right in the middle of the tornado of, of history. Up until the assassination, certainly, it seemed something less likely to happen in the country, didn't it? With that assassination, it just seemed like our world changed. I was treated like a scapegoat because I was simply from Dallas. It was people from Dallas that killed Kennedy. That was everybody's mind. And since I was from Dallas, I was had to fight. I had to defend myself. I had to run from people because the word got out. There's a man here on us in our dormitories from Dallas. The first uh, day I met uh, Lee Oswald was the day that he started work at Texas School Book Depository. He was a very quiet type person. He never just asked you a question, asked you a question. It was always he was trying to find or understand I happened to be medical officer of the day that day. It just was a rotating administrative duty, but it happened to be my day. Out of that uh, grew a set of orders for me to be involved in the funeral. I'd uh, known Kennedy a little because of my assignment, because I was in the Boston Bureau and, and went down to Hyannisport and so forth. As I remember, I was as I was outside and I noticed the president's caravan came by at a great rapid speed, uh, was not aware at that point of the shooting. As the car passed in front of us and he was straight out from us, the third shot rang out and I turned to Gail, I said, that's it, hit the ground. I, just, I was just afraid that, that something would happen to my children. I think everybody was so stumped because we had just witnessed this tremendous history of the United States. It was so quiet everywhere. It was the saddest moment, I think, that anybody could have imagined. 